Anthony Joshua for a lot of the, not not the last maybe 10 years, but he's, he's carried British boxing on his own. <laughs>
if I was looking after Azim, but I wouldn't have gone about it that way. That's all the point I was making. This isn't against Adam Azim. I think I think a lot of Adam Azim. I think he's a great kid, and I think he's an point. I'm going to make this very clear. I think he's a super, a potential superstar of boxing. However, the way they've they've pushed him quickly to the European title, and then because they've they've found the the right opponents for him to to kind of get there. That like, luckily, really, with the the, the lower level opponents that they've got there. They've finally got there and it's time to make a defence against somebody the world wants to see, well, this country wants to see for sure. And then you've you've scurried out of it and made 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 Adam Azim look, uh, his credibility kind of decrease because of the... the so it's not it's not Adam. The, the problem is not with Adam Azim because that's why you pay a team to, ha um, to conduct your business. I just think he's not been protected. And I, and, I, and I think that he's been let down. That, that, that's, that, they're the points I've been making. But when people ask me the questions, it's like I'm digging out Adam Azima. I'm not at all. I'm digging out how it's been handled, which has been piss poor. Yeah. So, yeah, that's all I'm going to say on the matter. You've got more out of me. Because, oh, do you know what? The amount of people that have asked me, oh, Sam, can you comment on this? No, I'm not going to comment anymore. But there you have it. That's my, my, my opinion in a, in a nutshell. I just think the business... Uh, the Adam Azim should have been protected a lot more than what he has been because if you look at social media, he's getting he's getting torrid abuse and he's actually having a good fight. Listen, if the Harlem Eubank fight happens, it's a really good fight, but people are still not happy because it's not what they wanted to see. But anyway, we're blabbering on. So yeah, moving swiftly <laughs> on, Max. Moving on to fights that have happened. Uh, Fabio Wardley, Fraser Clark. Uh, what a fight, Sam. Uh, yeah, what was your thoughts on what you saw? All I thought was, I promise you, do you know when it was happening? Like after, just after Fraser got put on the floor and he got up and he started digging deep, I thought, I hope you two fuckers are getting paid a fortune for this because they beat the shit out of each other. They beat the shit out of each other. But it's what you want to see. Do you know, it's like a gory fan. You're looking at it and thinking, this is what we want to see. It's one of the best British heavyweight title fights probably ever. You, you struggle to see a better contested fight for that beautiful belt than that two fight and two of them the pair of them are a credit to the sport and I like both men as well I've known Big Fraser a long time um I, a lot of my fighters have sparred Fabio so I say I know Fabio uh, I know Fabio well as well but two really good guys two gentlemen and it was just a fucking brilliant fight that we all want to see again I mean neither of them Fabio probably could go and roll the dice against one of the big boys now even though he's got the jaw but and, and could still go back to that fight with Fraser, but ultimately the boys need to be making an, a, a huge amount of money for the rematch because that's what we all uh, want to see. And I'm sure they both need a bit of more of a rest as well. Fabio, because of his nose and Fraser, just because it was a grueling fight. So let's hope their next two fights is against each other because they, they gave everyone a, an absolute banger and one to remember. So massive credit to both of them. Brilliant fight. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Sam as well. Uh... Anthony Joshua, I think yesterday, said to Jonathan Ross that uh, he's got two years left around that. Uh, yeah, what would you think? Is that is that enough? Everyone time? always put everyone always puts like a shell, like a date on their career. David A used to do it. Do you remember when David A was like twenty six or twenty seven? He's like, when I'm thirty, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. And then listen, he's thirty eight years thirty eight years old fighting Tony Bellew in pay per view fights. And if Anthony Anthony Joshua for me is in the is in the physical prime of his life at the moment, he's performing the best he's probably ever performed. Um, so listen, we'll see. Hopefully, it, it'd be. A, a sad day, the day Anthony Joshua retires from 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 boxing because he's done so much for boxing. Listen, I don't say Sam's a fanboy. I just I, I love I love boxing and I love British boxing. I'm a, I love British boxing. Anthony Joshua for a lot of the not not the last maybe ten years, but he's he's carried British boxing on his own. He re he really has like, all those big nights at Wembley Stadium. I know then Tyson had his his time period out and then he came back and then Tyson's back in that kind of mix, but. Anthony Joshua has been the best, best servant to British boxing. He really has. And he's given the, the fans continuously great nights. And his resume is phenomenal. He fights anybody. There's what's one thing for sure. He's a fighting champion when he was a champion. I believe he's going to get at least one of the belts back. And then we want to see the, the the Fury fight, don't we? Where as British boxing fans, we want to see AJ against and AJ against uh, Tyson Fury sooner rather than later because both of them have not got they're both t closer to the end than they are to the start. So let's hope that fight can happen soon. I know that drifted off the subject there, but yeah, Anthony Joshua, great fighter, 
um, an amazing servant to British boxing. On Fury, uh, he said, I think it was to Umar uh, from Box Nation, that he feels that he can cripple Usyk to the body. Now, given sort of what we've seen from Usyk against Dubois, is that a thing? Is that a thing you expect Fury to 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 target, or is Fury not that kind of fighter to target the body like that? Yeah, I think Tyson Fury is a good body puncher. Tyson Fury is a very good body puncher. Um, I think Tyson Fury is going to win. I do. I think he had the worst night of his of his life against Ngannou. Um, it, to be fair, he didn't make excuses, but that wasn't Tyson Fury that we we know. Do you know what I mean? That wasn't the Tyson Fury we know. Um, I think he's going to be back to his best in this fight, and I think he stops Usyk. I really do. I think Tyson's a, 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 the best heavyweight in the world. On his day, he's the best heavyweight in the world. So, I think he, I think he beats Usyk. I really do. I'm very confident he beats Usyk. He looks really good doing it, and then we can get the fight that we all want to see. And I don't give a fuck where it happens, Max. I don't care where it happens. I just want to see it happen um, because it'll be a, a, a crying shame if if both of those two or one of those two leaves the sport and they've not they've not boxed each other. And uh, what, what do you think of Haney Garcia coming up two weeks on Saturday? Do you want me to be really honest with you? I've kind of not stopped caring about that fight, but because you know, because Ryan Garcia, the way he's, the way he's gone on, on social media where there is something wrong with him, where he's just trying to increase numbers. But really, what he's really done, if that's his, if that is honestly what he's been doing, this trying to get publicity, all he's doing is made people not want to buy tickets to the fight because they don't think he's going to be there on fight night. So he's kind of fucked it up, really. And it's made me kind of not... I've got to be truthful. I don't think, I don't think it's a pay-per-view fight in the UK. That's just my honest... This is me giving my honest opinion. I don't believe it's a UK pay-per-view fight. It's a great fight. It really is a great fight. But I don't think it's a pay-per-view fight in the UK. I don't think when you're waking up at four o'clock in the morning, you then have to then pay 20, 20 quid or 25 quid or whatever it is. Like, I'll be, I'm personally... I love boxing. I watch as much... I, I watch any type of boxing. I love it. But will I be staying up till four o'clock in the morning to watch Ryan Garcia Haney? No, I'll wait for the result in the morning and watch it back in the in the coming days. That's well, just me what, being honest. Well, why do you think they made it pay per view in the UK? Because sometimes don't they don't always do that for, for these. I events. really don't know. I, I I really I really don't know. But whether I I, I don't know. I, I don't know whether it's selling well, and I don't know whether that's not because Eddie Hearn's not more actively involved. So I know he's not the lead promoter in it, but that probably is the case because. It's made me. I don't know. I, I I don't know. I just there's just something about it. I just don't think like Ryan Garcia is gonna lose. I, I honestly think if Ryan Garcia it tends it goes get does step in the ring. I think Haney just beats him easy, and I think it's a one sided fight. I I honestly do think that Styles make fights. I think Haney's gonna shut out performance. I I, I really do. Um, and and Ryan Garcia can then say, oh yeah, I've. Got like had issues and stuff, and like, I I don't know. I don't. I really, I really don't know. The way he's gone on about the fight is like he's trying to not, not be in the fight. I know that's just my opinion. It's just it's a weird one. It's a really weird one. Like it's a weird one you've asked me. About. But I've got to be honest. I'm just being honest. Like I can't tell lies. Like I I, I I'm not. It's not. I'm not looking forward to the fight. It's just that I just think twenty five quid four o'clock in the morning for Haney Garcia in the UK. Yeah, I'm not so sure. Yeah, I'm sure it'll do very well in America, though, for sure. Yeah, for sure, it's going to do. We do. I think it'll do. It'll do good buy. Do good numbers in 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 America because um, they're both big big names, aren't they? But like, this is the thing, and I've said it many many times. Devin Haney for me isn't a superstar. Like he's not. He's a great fighter and one of the best in the world for sure, right? But if Devin Haney fights Sandor Martin, let's see what the pay per view numbers do. There's very few, you can count on your hand, who can draw a gate on their own. Anthony Joshua, Tyson Fury, Javonta Davis, Canelo. If I'm missing somebody, please, please intervene and tell me I'm wrong. And I apologise if I have missed somebody, but they're the ones I can think of on my head at the moment. The superstars of the sport, right? You can't include Jake Paul on that because, nah, no. Mm. But do you understand? Four people that can draw a gate on their own. The rest... We all need dance partners to make great fights. We all need great, great, like Lopez. Tiafino Lopez was convinced that he's this superstar, superstar. Like, no, not really. Don't draw big gates on your own. Like, you need, you need dance partners. 
Um, and that's why we need to make the best fights in boxing, Max. Otherwise, you're not going to get the, the super fights. You're not going to get the huge gates and the huge numbers. So, yeah, everybody needs dance partners. So just finally, uh, Chisora uh, said that he was contacted by Frank Warren's office about a potential uh, Joe Joyce fight. I don't know if that's a fight that's realistic, going to happen. Uh, but, yeah, obviously you used to manage Joe. Uh, what, what do you think of that possibility? I, I don't know, to be honest with you, mate. I, I don't know. I don't know. No idea. If them two want to, them two fight each other, them two fight each other, I prefer, I don't know. I don't know. Derek's been in a lot of hard fights. Joe's 38 years. I don't know. I don't know. But look, it'll be a good fight if it happens. Both two absolute warriors. So be a great fight if it happens. It can only be a good fight, can't it, with the way those two fight. My God, it's like a car crash. Yeah, for sure. All right, Sam, appreciate your time. Uh, Max, not... you better clip. You know, you know, to like the, the thumbnail of this, it's got to be you and Max from Say by the way. So people understand what I'm talking about. So by the way, guys, if you want to know what this guy spin the camera, you've got to spin the camera. I'll put I'll put do, it in No, it do right it now. now. Don't bottle it, don't bottle it. Spin right, it around. Uh hold on, hold on, hold on. How the hell? Because your hair is on point from the, the max. Mate, it's not on point at all. Uh wait, hold on. Spin it round, don't bottle it. I'm not coming off this interview until you do it. I actually think I can do it now. There we go. There you go. Wait for it. You got it? There we go. So, um, compare M Max to Max. Shall I put him Sweat. right here? I'll put him right here next to me. Yeah, Max. That's Ringo. exactly what you need to do. I want to see that as part of the thumbnail of this because you I are mean, a Ringo. It's not going to be the thumbnail of the video because oh, no one's on. going to click to watch me in a thumbnail. That's a fact. Not you never know. People might not click me. They might think, "Oh no, no I'm not that fucking." You're, you're a star, Sal. You're a star. Ah, I don't. I don't think that. And please don't say. In fact, cut that bit out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sam. Appreciate it, mate. And uh, yeah, Take care, I'll see mate. You soon.